Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video on my channel. Um, please do join the chat. If you would like to become a member of my channel, there is a button there that you can click to join where you can get um, reach out on me on Sundays. I'm here live on Sundays. You can get a mini reading for free every Sunday in the live stream. Also, um, if you want to get a push personal, oh God, I can't talk, what is up? If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Click the link, book a reading with me. You can get it same day, okay? Um, yes. <laughs> this is a love reading for Virgo. We're gonna take a look at April. Um, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hello to my moderators and all my awesome people in here. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading. I am not live right now, but the chat is live, so please do join in on the chat. All right, let's take a look and see what your love messages are, what drama you have. Drama llama, drama mama. All right, Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Aw, so this is obviously somebody here is missing you, thinking about you, not sure how things are going to go, okay, feeling a little sad about this, some kind of a split or separation, okay, definitely thinking about you and getting to the point where yearning and longing for you, okay. You also have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Wow, Virgo. So you've got somebody here who in their sadness and in, during this separation time and during this missing you phase is going to attempt to overcome whatever obstacles there are. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody here is learning or has learned some big lessons or will be learning some crucial uh, lessons here, uh, maybe about the future, okay? I feel like there was somebody here who maybe just took advantage and thought that you would always be there, or just kind of felt like you would just maybe just take whatever they gave, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like somebody here is preparing to uh, reunite with you or come into some type of union with you here. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Oh my goodness. Wow. Separation is causing, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Separation is causing someone to miss you so much that now they're in this position where they might just be willing to do whatever it takes, bloody stumps and all, okay? Overcoming the obstacles. All right, let's get into your reading and see what's going on here with you. Okay, so just so you know, um, I know some of you um, do have a past person that you are not connecting with anymore. And the message here, um, because I know, I just hear some of you saying, is this person even thinking of me? Uh, they just left me out in the cold or like, are they, are they changing? I've gone no contact, wondering if something is working. And I feel like, yes, something is working here. Let me see. Let's take a look at your energy, Virgo, and see. These are now my most favorite cards. This is the Witch's Tarot. Okay. Um, these are on, um, there's a link below the video um, for you to purchase this deck. Okay. Um, and I get a percentage of whatever you you purchase. Um if you purchase this deck or any of the decks I have listed below. So if you want to support my channel in any way and get yourself uh, a beautiful tarot deck in the process, um, you can definitely go that route, okay? So let's take a look here and see what's going on with Virgo. Okay, you've got the Page of Pentacles, so you've got some ideas. Um, what are you thinking about Virgo right now, okay? Um, Page of Pentacles is like, you're thinking about, well, I mean, I got my eye on my money and my money. On, is that the, is that, 
the song. Um, you guys are, I feel like you're, 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 you've got plans. You're making some plans here. You might be getting some, um, what the heck was that? Did you just hear a ding? I don't know what that ding was because I don't have anything around me. Like, I don't have any other phones. That's so weird. So, oh, that's so weird. So you've got, uh, that must be a sign. You've got, um, maybe you're getting some message, you're getting some money news coming in for you. Um, there's something here with a, like, or a new job is what I see, or a raise or something is coming in here for you. Um, this is just, let me just see what else is going on. Oh. King of Cups. Okay, some of you, um, maybe this is the person, male or female, that you are connecting with. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, this King of Cups is very stable. Um, does not let their, look at the water, how it crashes around him. The King of Cups does not let his emotions get the best of him. He's very wise um, and kind of very knowledge, knowledgeful. Is that a word? <laughs> knowledgeable. And um, I feel like there's an energy of ascension here. Man, I keep getting, you hear all the sounds? Somebody, this person um, doesn't have to be a water sign. They could have water in their chart somewhere, or just heavy water element in their chart. But I feel like you're going to get some message from this person. They might tell you, this could be the person you're in separation with. They might tell you that um, they, they're, they got a new job. They, uh, something about communication, of course, because pages always feel to me like the page, the written. So it might be a text message or some type of communication you get from this person um, where even they tell you that, um, you know, they've been patiently, uh, they've been waiting for you. <laughs> um, uh, they tell you they got some, they got some really good money, like bringing you some money news. Oh, wow. The Emperor is here, so Aries energy. Hmm, okay. Now, it's so strange. There could be a message about a father as well, or from a father as well. Um, but mostly I feel like this person's coming in to tell you that they've leveled up, overcoming their obstacles, transcending. Whereas maybe at one point they were a page, and then they've ascended to a king and now they've ascended to the emperor and you could take this as you know a princess to a queen to um an empress okay male or female energy however you want to take it but that's really what the information comes in with the pentacle is where okay it's like It's like telling you about their plans and what they've done. So if you and this person separated or it, like if they separated from you or you walked away, it might have been because or due to immaturity. Um, maybe this person that you're connecting with was very immature or acted kind of like, um, okay, we have the death card in the reverse. I mean, in the upright. Um, so the death card energy, obviously Scorpio energy, it feels like this person is having some huge, big changes going on in their life and they're transforming. And I feel like they've rebirthed. Maybe they've found Jesus. I don't know, but they're, they've gone, they've really transcended a lot. I feel like if you felt like something ended or you, 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 they were very immature in their ways or in dealing with you, you might've just decided you love the person, but you can't really deal with the immature behavior. Um, in the sense because you might have felt like you were involved with a child <laughs> you know and, and I don't mean to say that to cut the person down or anything it's just like a grown child like it was like um, a male or female in an adult body okay and their behavior was you know if they you know, they acted like a kid or they acted like a teenager, you know, the way they handled things or the way they treated you or they were irresponsible or things like that. And they're just, this person, it just seems like is having, um, you know, a, 
a level up in a lot of ways. And I feel like for you, if there's conversation also that you might be saying, maybe they didn't even have a job or something, or they weren't, didn't have study income and you know, you, or they weren't paying bills or they weren't um, contributing, you know, and you might, you might have a conversation with this person and they say, well, yeah, no, I am working now and I, I got a job and I'm paying bills. And, and for some of you, um, they're also, I'm hearing like, I'm thinking about giving you some some cash or some coin, maybe some Bitcoin. Look, <laughs> I don't know why that looks like crypto or something to me. And that, that belt looks like the old ticker stock belt or um, paper, ticker stock paper. I don't know. But so there's definitely an energy of um, some communication coming in here. And the emperor energy is like, that's the highest of the high. That's like, com that's like completion all the way at the top. Like the, the emperor is the king of all kings, the queen of all queens. Okay. They rule all the kings, they rule all the queens. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. It's two of wands. So this person's really, wow. Making a choice here. Uh, I feel like, so at first when I was looking at this page of pentacles, you know, like how I said, like ticker tape kind of thing. Um, I was feeling like um, paying for some kind of a ticket for a trip or to go somewhere. Some of you paying you back for something, but um, I was feeling like travel, but uh, it didn't feel very strong until the two of wands is here so that really just confirms that the energy that I was picking up prior to this does have something to do with travel plans making plans and the two is about partnership so maybe some of you live at a distance um, because um, sorry we've got a globe here Okay, so there could be a distance. You live across the sea or the country or something. Um, this person's got a feather in their hat. And that Maybe they have a cat and the feather in their hat represents like some passion and drive. Um, it could be um, Native American as well. I don't say that because of the feather. I'm saying that mostly because of the, um, the colors of the feather. I don't know. Something about those that feather reminds me of that. So it could be like offering a ticket or um, uh, showing it. They're showing you something. They're showing you something as a form of like, like they have something in mind and they, and they can prove it to you um, to give you like some kind of proof. I feel of a change. Okay. So I feel like it's something maybe that you've been wanting, but you well, you're at a crossroads as well within yourself. You're kind of like weighing your options. I feel like you will weigh things out here. Not so much weighing options, but waiting to see what this person does if they come in. Like, I don't feel like you're sitting by the phone. I don't feel like you're expecting anything from this person. I, I feel like you're just doing your own thing. Like I said, you could have you know, money or working on career or thinking up innovative ways to make money or, or um, creative ideas or things that you want to do. But I also feel like at the same time, you're a little bit at like a decision here. You're at a crossroad. You need to make a choice about something, about a decision. And it could be this person coming in, um, making some kind of offer or showing you something now, which where maybe in the past, it was done dead in the water because we had the death card um, that now it might be more along the lines of like, okay, now I'm faced. Now this person's asking me to make a decision or I got to make a choice about us and I'm not sure what path I want to go. I'm not sure what I want to do. That's kind of what I feel like is going on here. Um, sorry, I lost my camera. Um, you didn't lose it, but I lost it. So you're going to be faced with a decision. Do you try to take them for what they're saying and give them another chance? Um, or do you choose a different path and go a different way? Okay. Could also be maybe they, you have children with this person and, or a child and, and they're like really leveling up and being like a better parent as well. And that, 
They want to show you. It feels like this person wants to show you in some way that they are what you wanted and that they can complete and overcome the obstacles or the problems. This person is really... Um, the separation that you guys are having uh, or had, this person um, is like really going through some changes and falling in love with you all over again, like even more so because of the absence. Let's see what else is going on here. Wow, now we have, so we have two kings and an emperor. So now we have the king of pentacles. So for some, this is you, you know, like I said, you're not putting, I don't feel like you're going to put too much effort into investing in this connection. Um, you're going to try to allow this person to invest because I feel like you've invested plenty. You've basically done, you were very wise. You made very good choices. Now you're investing in self is what I feel. Although, uh, you know, if you choose to hear this person out, you might hear what they have to say. But it feels you're more so focused on self right now. And it's like, well, if this person is transcending, transitioning, they're raising their vibration, they're, you know, they're expanding, they're learning, you know, they're ready to enter a new phrase, uh, phase and, you know, come into union with me, then maybe we can talk. But it feels to me mostly like you're... Like they hand you the pentacle and you just kind of look at it like, you know, do I even want this again? I mean, is this, it feels like this person is coming in to show you, um, okay, prove, uh, can we have some, can we have, do you think we can get a little, uh, non blur in here? <laughs> so I feel like this person is coming in you know, to show you, and you're going to be looking at the pentacle, like, do I even want this? I mean, it's a pretty big pentacle. Um, is this something that I, I can invest in again? Do I, can I even do this? Do I even want to do this? Sorry, I, my OCD is kicking in here and I just absolutely have to have, it's not going to happen. There we go. Beautiful. Let me just have a look. Look at the beautiful artwork on here. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at those shoes. This person wears some nice shoes. Every person is. They dress real well. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, or maybe they didn't before and now they do. They live outside of a city or they're somewhere outside of a city. This person wears jewelry. Sometimes. I love the colors, the green. Maybe they're in the army or in the military. Maybe they're like a general or sergeant, colonel, lieutenant in the army. Okay. Let's see what your energy is here. Crazy Virgo. Crazy, crazy. I just kind of feel like you're, you're very grounded, you know? Now for some of you, I just want to hear, uh, tell you this. <laughs> You, okay, this is real simple. Um, you definitely have someone from the past who's missing you and longing for you in separation. But I also feel like you've got two other suitors as well and who are making offers. And this could absolutely play a role as to your um, choice, needing to make a decision, needing to choose somebody here, okay, for some of you. Um, and I feel like the choice is going to be a little harder in a lot of ways because some of you do still have feelings for a past person. Or even if you don't as much, this person's really showing unconditional love towards you. Like with the kisses card, you know, they tell you that, you know, they're in love with you. I mean, it, it might kind of trip you up a little bit because I don't necessarily feel it's, like it's it, unexpected. I feel like some of you knew that this was going to come around at some point. It might be a little off-putting or strange that this person, you might not trust 100% that this person is, because now they're expressing their love, giving and receiving affection. Um, and you might require that they bloody stump it. Yo, <laughs> you're going to have to like show me some proof of these words you're gonna back that shit up because I you know 
maybe the, the words don't mean anything and you've been on my channel long enough so now you're like oh that's right and you're getting it right so <laughs> i feel like you're you know this person is going to try to prove it to you in some way and then you're gonna you know look at the pinnacle that they give you and just be like mm, let me analyze this hold on a minute let me see if this is real let me touch it feel it sniff it i want to sleep with it roll over on it lick it uh, i just got to find out if this thing is real or is this like some kind of paper tiger or something all right let me see what else is going on what's going on for you well it's a little bit of both let's just see how the energy plays out okay so ace of swords beautiful and you have the fool okay getting some clarity here wow and this person definitely gives you truth i feel like they come in giving you absolute clarity they give you they cause you to have a light bulb moment right um you know ace of swords they're just saying willing to overcome these obstacles which is transcending obstacles this is ascension here um wanting to win freeing themselves from whatever they were connecting with or how, whatever um if they were tied down to something in the past you know um aquarian energy here this feels like um taking a risk taking a leap of faith here coming in and giving you this truth with this ace of swords taking a risk a risk here okay it might be you too you know gaining clarity and saying hey i think i'll take the risk one more shot one more time maybe it's another chance at this relationship and some of you might get some clarity and truth here that you, you know, appreciate what they have to say. And maybe it was just a long time coming and the window of opportunity is closed. And you might decide, Virgo, that you're going to take a risk um, on your own and go off on your own and go do your own thing solo. Okay. Um, a new path. Have your, um, like, there's fresh hope in the newness of other people coming in. Um I don't know it's it's a little conflicting because i see you here with this two of wands kind of like oh i don't know uh, i've been kind of waiting for this but now it's coming in and now i'm not sure uh, maybe just a lot of time has passed and you've lost that loving loving feeling or it's just you're not sure if you're even compatible maybe the love is there in the, the chemistry but you're not sure if you're compatible i feel like this person tries to come in and force compatibility because they love you right let's see okay yeah you look at you hesitation here and i feel like whoever your past person is coming in you've been thinking about that or they've been thinking about you definitely they've been hesitating for sure but i feel like they've been it feels like they've been thinking about how to invest okay what it is that you need from them so that they could um give you what you want right um not if they should but in what way and it, and and i feel like you are kind of like do i want to accept any offer or investment from a past person when you may have some other two other people showing up in your life here okay um I'm not going to go in depth to two other people showing up because I really couldn't tell you who it's going to be. I just see we've got someone here who is ascending into em emperor energy and then we've got two kings or someone's ascending into empress energy and you have two queens. Okay. Wow. Seven of swords. See, this is the dilemma for you because trust was broken, right? <laughs> With the seven of swords, there may have been dishonesty in a past thing or um betrayal perhaps in some way you know maybe somebody like was a thief of hearts and stole your heart ran away with it and then just left their mark on you with those two, two swords back there it's almost as if maybe they came in you know how like you have like some thieves or people who do bad things there's something about getting recognition for the bad things that they do so they'll leave like a symbol or something um because it's almost it's weird it's it's almost as if they they want to get caught they want to it's notoriety it's like fame or something and i feel like whoever you were with um there's they came in 
maybe in the past and stole your heart but left a mark of some sort and you're kind of hesitant like do you want to get back into that again do you want to have that happen to you again so this is kind of like um you know trust being broken maybe or some trauma from a past thing and they are coming in to show you that they've made grave changes you know but i feel like that might be why you are needing them to show you here with this pentacle because pentacle is physical this is tangible this is something you can touch and hold this is proof you know for some it's like uh, some of you need whatever it is you need physical proof of that's going to give you a sense that they really mean it this time and i don't mean like bribery or gifts i'm uh, i don't know exactly what i mean but it's it's something you know it's something like it's it's hey it's showing up at your doorstep with that bloody stump that leg <laughs> see here it is and i got only half a leg here and i'm willing to you know limp the rest of my life for you it's like you need something okay so you're probably going to require that but at the same time and and, let, and if you don't get it you're not going to get you're not going to you're not doing lip service okay because you can't risk having somebody come in here with that seven of swords give you everything and do that all again um you're not going to throw all your eggs in one basket okay because you can't have this person like you know here you get back into investing with them again and then they they run away or they pull out or they renege on the whole thing right okay so eight of swords this person um this person ha had a tendency or may there there's an energy i feel like there might be some communication as well um they take this risk and communicate and explain to you give you clarity why they were hesitant why they were um cheating or why they ran away and why they put uh, why they sabotage the relationship that's what i feel like this person is going to come in and tell you does that change anything i mean it might be just good for you to get some closure and maybe an apology but it feels like this person has some severe insecurity um you know if you look at this person here there this person in this card her feet are not bound okay her arms yes and she does have a mask over her eyes but she's not bound she can walk there's plenty of space she can walk out of that pseudo cage so she may t um he or she may at times uh play the victim and that might also come up okay but you you are the one who um i feel like is going to be in that position of like getting clarity for yourself like not so much whether or not this person is telling the truth or not because in some ways i do feel like they are but for you it's the truth of well i appreciate that but i don't know if i could do that again you know so you're kind of you know thinking about you you'll be hesitant you're not rushing right back in with somebody here All right, I want to get some clarifying cards. Okay, let's see. So we look at the major arcanas. Let's take a look at the emperor here for you. And then the emperor is the person who has ascended. Okay, it's prepared for union. They see you as the empress, um, or this is the empress sees you as the emperor, and that's a, a match because you. You know if you're an emperor empress energy you don't match with kings and queens you would actually be kind of lowballing yourself if you accepted king or queen offer um because you like i said you sit in the the highest energy of all okay um or at least you're getting yourself ascending yourself into that and not taking less than you deserve all right so Let's see, this person coming in ascent, has ascended from a page up to an emperor. They skipped right through the night. Okay. Okay. Ha! Huh. Page of swords. Well, there's definitely an energy of this person is like... They're definitely curious about you, this, this past person. Um, what are they curious about? Because they feel like... Um,
I might be like, um, they're, well, they're definitely trying to get some truth. And um, there's definitely an energy of like spying. But let's see what's going on here. What are they, what are they looking at? Oh, okay. Well, they're definitely, <laughs> this person's, they, maybe they have a little bit of a jealous streak or, you know, that kind of, a tad bit of immaturity still. Um, or it just might be the sign that they are where they just have a bit of jealousy or whatever. But there's definitely seeking or spying to see who else is hitting on you or who else is interested in you. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It kind of like... <sighs> oh, they just said um, to see if you're accepting offers or if you're responding to people who are... Um, who are giving you love um i don't know for some reason they're they're in that mindset that if they see you responding to someone who gives you attention that that must mean you're involved with somebody else but uh, that doesn't ever mean that <laughs> not all not every that's not a surefire way to know anybody can just talk to anybody it doesn't mean that there's something going on um but it, it feels like it's not heavy duty jealousy. It's not like, you know, I, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with the whole idea of, oh, jealousy is healthy in a relationship. I feel like, like maybe a crumb of it, like a tiny little bit that just kind of gives somebody a little zip, you know, but anything past that where it becomes possession and paranoia and stuff like that, then I feel like no, that's not good so this feels like it could just be this person gets a little i was gonna say and i was hesitant to say it but they're saying to say it they kind of like a like the feeling a little bit um if somebody else is offering you um love or flirting or connecting with you and you're not really responding so much to that because it kind of gives them a sense like in one hand they see that you're desirable and they like that and then on the other hand they like that you're really not giving anybody the time of day because they believe then in their mind that you are still thinking of them or you still like them or you're still interested or that it's almost a little egotistical because <laughs> it might not be that at all you just might not you just might not be interested in in the past person um, and not interested in whoever's giving you attention either, you know, um, maybe you just never even, I, I'm just kind of getting like, it's more like online kind of attention if they're able to see it. Otherwise it's just something they hear about or other people tell them. Okay. That's such a strange message that came out there. Let's take a look at the fool. <clears throat> fool. What is the full energy here? Okay. Courage to take a risk. That's really it. Leo energy here. Having the courage and the confidence. That's strength here um, to speak up. The courage and the confidence to, um, you know, take this huge leap of faith. This is also unconditional love. I don't know that, um, yeah, what the fool kind of reminds me of like, um, baby, like this person, it's new for them. It feels like it's, it's new for them to express their love in a mature way, but to take a risk and open up and have the courage, um, to give you that unconditional love or to give you that, you know, expression of love. Maybe they were just so immature before they didn't know how, or, they were reactive or they just you know ran away or things like that so I, I get a sense you know but it's also courage for you to take a leap of faith yourself to um, unconditionally love yourself self-love you know um, and to also maybe make a decision to cut somebody out and not take an offer that's coming to you from a past person take the risk to um, accept invites from these two other people that could be showing up in April, right? Or that are showing up in April. Let me see here. I want to get another clarifying card for strength. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. So 
Um, <laughs> this kind of makes me feel like an Aquarius because Aquarians kind of have that little bit of um, wittiness about them and they can, they can, um, air signs, all air signs do. They have a tendency to be like a little bit sarcastic, but this, this five of wands, it, it five of wands is, is definitely an energy of like witty comebacks and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but it's also about like rivalry challenges obstacles and sports so i definitely feel like this person as i was saying before that just clarifies that they're um both of you taking a risk here to overcome the obstacle their obstacles are themselves how they sabotage your obstacle is them and you overcoming are you telling this person yeah no i'm not i don't want to do this anymore i have other suitors or something um I don't know if they know that you do or will know, or I don't know if they think that I, they do think that you do, or they just are looking to see, or somebody has said something to them, you know, <laughs> it's such a weird energy. Like I, I'm, I can't lie here. Okay. Um, there's definitely, there's definitely two other people here. So it's not so much that we need to go in deep with two new people you could be connecting with. But I don't really feel like you're, if anything, you might entertain these two other people out of company or just companionship, but I don't really feel like only, only if you will entertain two other people, if this person comes back, not in alignment with you. Okay. If this person comes back in alignment with you, they have a 50% chance because 50% of you is out the door already or you have 50 you have 50% of a space reserved for them maybe and if this is not your case at all then I don't feel like this is your reading about a past person because it really doesn't matter if they try to come back and if you have space reserved or not because if you're already dead set that you're not going back to the past you do have two new people coming in showing up in the month of April so I just feel like you should know that right just as you 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 as a single person who's got no uh, desire to entertain the past okay so that gives you a little bit of hope <laughs> that there's two um, new people coming in I feel like one you might already be talking to or you will be talking to and it could be a work connection and the other one might be at a distance okay or it's both all right let's get your romance angels messages see what's going on here Okay, chemistry. We've got chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. And that goes on either side. Okay. On either, either, or just all around. Okay. Chemistry is chemistry. Does, does chemistry mean, I just had this conversation today, chemistry does not necessarily mean you should get into a relationship with that person because you also have to have compatibility. And if you only have chemistry, but you're not compatible, the hell's the point? Why? beat a dead horse right let me see okay you've got free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so virgo you know i mean a lot of you have this energy going on here right you're a unicorn virgo and this person knows you're a unicorn and the new people know you're a unicorn and you know you're special you're wonderful you're magical but some of you um really just want to get into that full energy you know um and i feel like this past person you freed yourself already from them and that separation is causing change in them you know um and and if that's what you want that's fantastic because i see this amazing thing here happening but some of you also need to free yourself from being stuck in the chemistry part of the relationship and even ask yourself are we compatible you know i mean are, are we even going to be able to do this um this person is going to try though overcoming these obstacles whatever your obstacles were or are okay um learning and expansion feels very much like teamwork collaborating together um, building something together in this ascension process so whatever the obstacle were, was that you were trying to break through these walls by yourself with this person and they were just sitting back watching you do all the work I feel like now they're going to pick up the hammer and really start helping you break down the wall 
which is good, which is good. You know, you're not going to have to do the dishes by yourself every day. <laughs> okay, children. So children um, do play a role in this relationship for some of you. Um, and they're just saying that maybe in the past, your relationship between both of you, you both had a childlike energy and maybe you ascended, right? And now this person's ascending um, or you have kids together. Um, or you just really can't do much in your life as far as dating or anything because, or you have to consider the children, right? If you're going to, you know, go back to a past relationship or start something new. For some of you, children are a part of this. Now, for some of you, you know, this is a reconciliation with a past person, you know, the Six of Cups energy. For some of you, this is a reunion. Um, nostalgia, thinking about when we were younger, when we first met, okay? You know, um... And that might play a heavy role in this relationship because um, there's a history, okay? History. Ah, craziness. Okay, romantic feelings. Feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is all full-blown romance here. This is all romance. This is not just friendship. This is like... For some of you, you know this person coming back in and, and trying to reestablish this connection with you and making those changes. Some of you are, may take the time to um, explore if you even have any feelings left or, or romantic feelings or to explore how you feel. You know, that's what the seven of pentacles is like. We're hesit you're hesitating here. I need to think about this. Let me explore how I feel. Do I even have any feelings left? Can these feelings be rebirthed again okay um i need to wait i need to you know i need to wait and see how i feel about this or what comes up some of you might do a little discovery and find you know oh i don't have romantic feelings for this person anymore some of you m might find like there's a seed still a feeling and that might actually propel you to give them another an opportunity to present themselves with something different or something new it's not a guarantee you know i mean i do i can tell you that i feel like this person is coming in you know differently but again like i said you, you take my advice virgo they need to back it up they can't just come in with lip service and words they gotta prove it they gotta show you and if you accept anything less than that um and it falls apart don't blame me I gave you your advice. Don't blame me. We need to have this in writing. <laughs> you want to buy my house? You need to sign the contract. You can't just tell me you want to buy the house and expect me to let you live in it for free. All right, let me see here. Messages of love. What's going on? Messages of love. Spiritual lesson. This person in, is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Guess what? Guess who that person is? That's me. <laughs> this person is in your life. You've learned a lot. You've gained a lot. I mean, can you honestly look back on this connection and say to yourself, now I haven't learned F from this person or about myself. If you have not, then you need to wake up because there's something here between you and this person. You've taught them something. They've taught you something. You know, it could be both. It could be vice versa. But you need to see that because a lot of times, you know, the default with you, Virgo, is like, well, why was this person in my life? Well, what, you know, what, what was the purpose of them being in my life and ending something? Well, maybe... It wasn't the maybe it was the purpose wasn't about them being in your life for some of you maybe the purpose was about you being in them their life maybe you're the one who taught this person to ascend maybe you're the one and some of you are you taught this person how to love you taught this person how to grow up you know so you're not the victim okay maybe it's the other way around and for some of you it truly is you know uh, maybe you already had the lesson you already learned the lesson and all this time you're giving some you were giving somebody else the power um, to make it seem like they were the ones who were teaching you something but no virgo virgo is the teacher of the zodiac and the healer i'd say it's the other way around okay and that's a message for them 
somehow, some way, they've learned some things from you. And for some of them, it was that you taught them many things and then things didn't go the way you hoped and then you left and this person's had time to reflect and ascend based on their training <laughs> not that you were i mean maybe you were training them maybe they were your trainer fitness trainer okay patience everything will unfold in divine timing and i feel like you know that because here you are with the seven of pentacles 100 percent. that's all about patience 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 okay so you know you're not rushing into anything. Okay, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Yeah, so I definitely feel like the distance between you two is definitely bringing clarity. And especially for you, because it's like, do I want to take this chance again? Or should I just entertain a couple more people here? I feel like keep your business to yourself Virgo okay keep your business to yourself um, keep your plans to yourself build in silence whatever you're trying to do in your life create um, do it in silence you don't want to give any you don't want to put yourself in a position to sabotage anything in case you want to go back because if you are with somebody else and you're plastering that everywhere um, but you still want to go back to this person that probably, or you still want to give them a chance that might not work all that well. You have like a half, half chance that that might work. Um, that might be more hurtful than anything. Um, unless you're doing it for revenge. I mean, you do what you want to do, but I feel like having time apart from this person is going to give a lot of clarity or is bringing you clarity, but also for them. Okay. So the, the separation has definitely brought them clarity about, you know, they miss you. They feel sad without you. Every single day is a, a bummer, okay? They're not as happy as they could be. They think about you all the time. They're constantly feeling that longing sense, although they're unsure of what the future will bring. And they're trying to make changes so that they can come back and you'll accept them back. But also in doing so, you may need a little distance because you need to get clarity of how you feel and ask yourself, is this a path I want to go back? Or... I've got a couple new people here and it sure is how is easier to start over than it is to try to go back and fix something but it so many variables and it just depends where you're at all right I want to see what the Chinese sign is here Chinese 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 sign whose sign who are we talking to here Okay, so somebody might be a year of the rabbit. Okay, cute little rabbit. And then we have a horse. Year of the horse. Oh, rabbit again. Two rabbits might be together. Effing like bunnies. <laughs> okay, and the ever elusive, elusive dragon back again. I know some of you are dragons. Um, are you connecting with a dragon? Okay, we have a dog, year of the dog. Oh, we've got a, that's a beautiful dog. A wolf or a husky? I guess that's what that is. Oh, and we have a rooster, year of the rooster. And we have a tiger. I feel like these same cards always freaking come up. Year of the Rat. You know how I feel about that rat card. Okay, and we have a monkey. Wait, they just said get one more. Okay, we already have the dragons. It could be two dragons. We already have the dog. Okay, a snake. Okay. Now, if your person's sign isn't there, um, that doesn't mean it's not um, the reading about them. Um, if your sign's not there, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. This is just to clarify or, more, or quantify more of the reading for you. Um, it could be your sign. It could be theirs. It could be both of yours. All right, let's see. Let's do our... I'm only going to be on um, doing a full hour tonight. All right, let's see what your other messages are here, Virgo. I'm not taking these.
Okay. Hmm. Oh, that sword again. <laughs> you know, I can't not see President Zelensky in this. I just can't not unsee it anymore. Ever since I saw it that day, <laughs> I just can't unsee it. Well, actually, I hate it. I hate it. You know when, like, you see something and then you're, like, convinced and then you can't unsee something anymore? I have to find a way to get over this. Because I, I can't with that. I feel like that's him. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell that even means. But, you know, it doesn't mean anything, I guess. It's just something that I'm seeing here. He just looks so sad. Or like he's bored. More, it's not sad. He's bored. He's waiting. Somebody wears, um, oh, a bolo tie. Is it called a bolo tie? Do I have that right? It's like a tie with like a metal on it of, of some sort. I was just seeing like um, a bolo tie. Hold on, I'm trying to bring this thing back. Yeah, I'll fix it in a minute. Give me a sec. Okay, somebody wears like, I don't know. I see people who live down maybe Australia or Texas down in the south. They wear these, I think they're called bolo ties. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's like a, it, it's like a, just a string kind of a tie with a metal, like a cowboy thing. Okay, look how pretty that is. We have the world. Okay, somebody might be African American. Why is this so blurry? Hold on, you guys. Let me fix it. That's better. Okay. Alrighty. Somebody is a jock. There is no doubt about it. Somebody's a jock. Either they call themselves a jock or they are a jock or somebody's name is jock or maybe it's jockey uh, or somebody's a jokester. I heard they joke around. They make, they do a lot of jokes or play a lot of pranks. Okay. And that could have been part of the immaturity. Somebody may have dealt with their stress by being a jokester. Um, and that might have gotten to the point where it got annoying for you. <laughs> I don't know where it's like, uh, can you ever be serious? Why is everything got to be a joke for you or sarcasm or something? Um, now, if you celebrate, okay, I just heard somebody is going on their fourth year of sobriety or somebody's getting like a, um, an AA um, medal or coin or something. The one, the first, second, third, or fourth year, or maybe months or weeks, or I don't know how that works. I just know that they give out like coins for a certain amount of time. Um, if you celebrate Easter, somebody's going to be hanging Easter eggs out on a tree, maybe in inside a house or outside, hanging those cute little Easter eggs outside on a tree. Okay, let me see. We also have the 21st. Wait, wasn't. It's not today. Today's the 21st. Significant. Well, it's March 21st. The 21st is significant. It's either somebody's birthday or something that happened in 2021. Um, or it's today. <laughs> something significant may have happened already or yesterday. Okay. Somebody has um, like red or maroon um, bed bedding red or maroon bedding i'm just hearing like red or maroon or i'm seeing i don't know why i say here i don't hear it i see it red or maroon um design or red in the bed <laughs> or maybe somebody staying in their bed <laughs> no just saying red in the bed or red bed or somebody's got red hair um striking like brilliant red hair Okay. <clears throat> oh, now they're just giving me an image of a very tall skyscraper kind of a building. Um, the, and I feel like it's being built. They're just saying. Also, um, uh, somebody having like a coconut or a vanilla smoothie or a cream smoothie. Maybe you're having like a, a glass of milk too. Um, or you have a lot of whipped cream on a dessert. Um, we have the letter P. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, somebody has an Asian mother-in-law or sister or Asian um, Asian mother, maybe it is. This mother thinks she's like the queen of the castle. She's, um, she doesn't have to be Asian, but, or maybe she's from, um, the ethnicity feels like either from Asia or South America, I'm hearing. Okay. And she kind of has this royal, your highness kind of thing going on, you know, like she, she commands that kind of thing. Like you must treat her like a queen. Um, not that you should never, you should be disrespectful to anybody ever, but she, she has like, she puts on airs. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, um, so we have the 19th and we also have, um, oh, so either the 9th or September 19th is significant for somebody. Okay. Oh, just heard formula. That one I heard. I didn't see that. I heard formula. Um, I don't know what that means. Formula. Okay. I can't really even depict what exactly formula means. All right. So we have the 15th. We also have um, the 4th. Somebody's birthday is uh, the 4th. Also the 25th. Okay. Oh, my nose is so stuffy. Somebody's got a red cat. What's that? Like a tabby? Tabby cat? Like a red cat? And somebody listening right now? Or some, or you know someone? They're, they're sandals. Wearing sandals. Or always wearing sandals. I'm just hearing. Okay. Uh, somebody's using Quicken to do their taxes. Or using the uh, Quicken books I just heard somebody's working with or something like Quicken books or doing their budget or something I, I guess that's what you do with that like your finances or something okay um, now we have the 13th let's have the 23rd we have the 6th and the 10th Okay. Oh, I'm seeing these beautiful bubbles. <laughs> no, somebody's blowing bubbles or starting a bubble bath or doing something with bubbles. Maybe blowing bubble gum or chewing bubble gum. Um, all right. They just gave me elbow patches. They just said, tell them, uh, put elbow patches or elbow guards put your elbow guards on maybe that's what it is elbow patches or guards okay <laughs> so we have I just heard they said Gagliardi Gagliardi or G A gar gar name or gag gar or gag um, we also have the 20th and Somebody was born in 1965. Um, definitely 65. Or someone is 65. Or you know, there's a connection to that number. We have the letter S. Okay. We have the ninth. Somebody was born in 69. And we have the eighth. And mm, Somebody, all right, they just gave me this strange. Somebody says, heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> I never say that. That's just the message they're giving me. I heard somebody say, heavens to Murgatroyd. So I don't know if that's spirit saying you connect with someone who says that or somebody's watching over you who used to say that. They just, it's funny. Heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Somebody looked that up. Heavens to Murgatroyd. I don't know what the hell that means. 
Um, okay, we've got uh, somebody is 49 as well. Um, I have the last four digits of a phone number. It's 4695. Okay, 4695. Or 4965. Or 5. Okay, the numbers are all mixed up now, they're telling me. 6945. Uh, it's whatever. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so we have also the 14th. Um, I think I said the 21st, right? But for August, that would be uh, Leo. Oh, the 22nd they're giving me. And somebody is very tired right now and is like, I got to get some Z's as soon as this reading's over. Or is falling asleep listening to this reading. Or is falling, falling asleep. Somebody types goodnight and puts Z's. I don't know if it's like an emoji or just puts the Z. Okay, and do one more. Okay, so I'm getting the years 1994, 95, and 96. Significant year our time period. Also getting, um, they're saying putting on the Ritz. Okay. Putting on the Ritz. So I don't know if that's, is that a cracker or is that like a play or something? Putting on the Ritz, maybe going to see that or eating those Ritz crackers. You know, they have them here in the U.S. I don't know if they have them anywhere else. Okay. Let's get into your, your messages here. Somebody definitely needs to get more sleep. I just said, tell them they need to get more sleep. Okay. Oh, we've got a horsey. So somebody rides horses or um, trains them. Or we have the year of the horse. We had that earlier. Somebody could be a horse. Um, saddling up a horse. Doing something with horses. Betting horses. Betting on horses. Let's see. Oh, that one didn't come out. Okay. Okay, we have a snowflake. Somebody's coming into the snowy season for sure. I'm going to see some strange snow squall. Was, or either you found or you will find like leftover Christmas decoration that you thought you had put away. I'm not taking that because we had that yesterday. <laughs> I'm choosy with, with what spirit sends me because I can be. Okay, so we have we have the arm um sign. We have a little baby dinosaur, and oh, paw print! How cute! Um, dinosaur prints. All right, let's talk about this here. It's interesting because the arm. Um, I guess that's what that's called. It sits on the meditation card. Okay, we have the meditation card right here, and then to go with it. You have the arm. You see it? So maybe you're practicing some chanting or some arm meditation, um, that kind of thing, or you do that with yoga or something, or you will be, or you're thinking about it. Taking off that sheet of armor there, uh, your chain mail, and getting yourself centered. Very good. And it's funny how it landed like right on her conscious, her crown chakra energy there, okay? So we have a paw print. So there's something here about a paw print. This feels like a remembrance of a cute little puppy or a cat, an animal that you love very much. Uh, thinking of like your, if your cat's in kitty heaven or doggy heaven or animal heaven, they're, they're still with you. I feel like that's that message there. For some of you, maybe you're walking um, or you're you're on a trail or you're going somewhere or you're walking somewhere and you're seeing doggy prints somewhere maybe in the snow or in the mud i want to show it to you hopefully it comes in it probably won't but i think you get the gist right little doggy print yeah my camera's like oh there it is how cute little cute doggy prints and what else do you have all right, we have a T-Rex. Somebody's name maybe is Rex. Thomas Rex. Or somebody Rex. 
somebody you connected with is a train wreck. There's still a damn train wreck. Can't pick that up. Um, somebody's got, okay. Um, I just heard small arms, maybe short arms, okay. Which I don't usually associate with a, a dinosaur, but it, that's what I was just getting. Our little maybe dinosaur decoration, or you're watching Jurassic Park with a child. Um, something to do with dinosaur, maybe a toy dinosaur um, that you see, or maybe you're going to buy for somebody. And, you know, it feels more like for a child or a toy. Uh, maybe you're going to give as a birthday gift or something. Yeah, so those are your messages. That's very interesting. I enjoyed your reading. I hope that I gave you some insight and you liked it too. And also, you guys, if you have any interest in checking out the other zodiac signs, again, you can go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, um, here on YouTube. And I'm back to uploading monthly for all zodiac signs there. So you definitely can check those out if you're curious about anything else such as your sun your moon your not your sun because you're a virgo but your your moon if you're a virgo your moon moon your rising and your venus um if it's in any of those signs you can go over there and listen to those readings as well okay so all right you guys awesome hanging out with you i'm gonna leave your reading here and i will see you tomorrow don't forget to click like share oh, well just click subscribe that's all i need you to do. i don't need you to like the video <laughs> i don't care if you like it or not if you're here i'm happy um but if you subscribe i'm even happier and that would be very pleasing to me and also don't forget if you want to pick out um a deck purchase a deck for me underneath the video is a list of all the links that I have especially for actually all the decks the Chinese Oracle here the only deck that I don't have listed is the island time because I have to figure that out I have to find it and find the link create the link for you um, and I think the messages of love I got to do that one but otherwise I have the wisdom Oracle deck which is here okay there's also the um, which is tarot which is here i'll even find a link for the charms for you um, i have a link there for these um beautiful little astrological dice the whole set so you can check that out as well and the reason why i push that is because whatever you purchase i get a cut from that so if you want to donate to my channel without sending me any money um I will get um, a commission off whatever you buy. So that's one way to help me out if you would like to, or just to give thanks or give back. All right, you guys. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening or day. Um, good night. Love ya. Bye.